for somebody like me, who is a science writer for the general public, there is a peculiarly good opportunity advantage because every emerging disease starts as a mystery story. Every new outbreak of a scary virus begins as a mystery story, and people love to read mystery stories. So there are these scientists who work in the field on viral discovery, on outbreak tracing, on outbreak response. They are the detectives. They are the Sam Spade. They are the Sherlock Holmes. And I'm the Dr. Watson. And I have Sherlock Holmes's to write about in discussing this very serious subject with these great natural narrative appeals to it. It helps. It helps in dealing with a complicated question. The general public tend to be only concerned with what should I be scared of and how scared should I be. And what I've tried to do is to say, just hold it for a second on being scared and understand this. And if you understand this subject a little bit, then you will be empowered, you will not be as scared, and your concern will be more usefully focused. You'll be able to protect your family and your children better if you just take a couple of minutes to understand the dynamics of this whole subject. Well, it begins with educating people and giving them options. Uh, viruses spill over into people because the viruses get opportunities to do that. Usually that's because people come in contact with wildlife. The main reason people come in contact with wildlife in developing countries in, on the continent of Africa, in Central Africa, is because they need food, they need protein. And so wildlife represents a source of protein. Uh, that's completely understandable, but it contains huge dangers for those people and for the rest of the world. We need to give them options. We need to give them opportunities. We need to give them ways of developing their own food, feeding themselves and their families without exposing themselves to exotic new viruses coming from wildlife.